This is Drumna Drocky. The scenery is nowhere near finished, but the signals work well, they always did. This is just testing out the uh, tourist stock on the G5. In the background was uh, a club member's Southern Coaches. And that is his spam can in the shed. Now leaving Drum to drop it, heading for uh, Fort Augustus. Now it's coming into the uh, non-scenic shed, which we have christened the egg, because it drops down one in 70, and uh, it's on a four foot six radius curve. It nearly takes up all of a shed. Going back through the hole into the uh, other room. This is where Fort Augustus will be. But like Drum the Drocket, it's nothing's happening and doesn't look likely to in the near future either. That's a signal I built just to show which way the point is set under the tunnel because it goes on to single line again. This is coming through into the dock room shed of mine. And now it's going underneath the bridge into platform three at Castle Gary. I'm having to do this uh, commentary afterwards. I was going to have it on the, um, the the camera commentary, but I kept repeating myself, so I'm doing it all different. Now stopped in platform three. Waiting for the light to change. And now off to uh, Canham. Later on it comes back, but uh, it doesn't go into platform three. It bypasses the station and heads for the uh, dock area in the next shed. The white thing in the middle is an uncoupling ramp for goods trains for when we use the program. That's the new marshalling yard or storage sidings and it's now going over the uh, Meccano Bridge on a sort of a four foot curve there into the uh, docks. This is the entrance to the dock.
and uh, pulling into the platform which it shares with the uh, freight traffic from the dock. You can see the uh, coat water in standpipes. This is a shot of the uh, dock uh, frontage with the uh, grab crane. This is a short demo of uh, how it works. The mixture of stuff is uh, is half brick dust and the other half, to make it lighter, baby powder. Johnson's. Smells like a Chinese brothel. That's the rest of the crane. It's a bit on the big side, but uh, leastways it works. Not finished yet. This is all other stuff on the key side. Brand new combine just shipped in from Germany because we are in about 1946, 47. That's the uh, departmental loco just towing the coaches back out to release the loco that brought it in. Bit awkward filming all this when you're on your own. But these shots are all what's happened in the last couple of years. Moving back into uh, Castle Gary Motive Power Depot. Nothing's altered all that much. Got a fresh gang of workmen I've painted.
This is the uh, G5. It's left the uh, docks and it's heading off towards uh, Canham. This is the uh, push pull that plies between Canham and uh, Castle Gary, just pulling into platform one. This is the LMS 2P that has uh, brought up a train of coke from the uh, gas works at Bath. And it's gone on towards platform three, which is the road that goes to uh, Scotland. Now moving into the uh, Canham room, this is Tilbrook Gates. A visitor had moved the gate lever when I wasn't looking and when I came in a day or two later and backed a train up, it smashed the gate you're looking at, the one on the left, and uh, broke it clean in half down the middle. So that's been repaired. In comes the tram with uh, some brick wagons. The bogey brick is scratch built. The rest are Skytrek, all loaded with bricks. Now this is uh, one of the latest uh, additions. It's the United Dairies with a big tall chimney made out of cardboard. <laughs> and being it is, it's uh, sort of semi low relief to hide the fact that it's, there's no bricks at the back. I've put a tree in, one of these tree moss trees that's the first one I've attempted, but uh, I've used it to fill the gap. And that's the pipework underneath where the 
milk tankers empty underground and the uh, standpipe is where the steam cleaning for the steam clean the tank wagons. This is a general view of uh, Canham Goods Yard and Station. Very busy at the minute. There's a nice London taxi in there. And these things, I managed to get four of these for eight pound each. Now we've moved into Bath and this is the uh, new part at the end. And Bob Holman, who helps make the gas works, that's his train that's going through and he's using his southern region locos. Now I forget what they all are, they're all something X or whatever it is, but the brake vans are all scratch built. That's a terrier, I do know that. It's off down the head shunt. The brown wagon on the sleepers is a Linton and Barnstable narrow gauge body. Now reversing this uh, long freight, back over the uh, up line, down line, into the head shunt. That's left some in the head shunt, and the rest it will shove into the uh, gas works, which is to the left. While we were shunting this loco, it uh, started to short out. So uh, we had to get it uh, repaired which didn't take too long, but it made filming a little bit difficult. They see it stopped again. But uh, now we've got it repaired properly and it's shoving them into the gasworks sidings. Now this is a shot looking from the gas works out to the uh, goods yard. That's the troublesome loco, it doesn't short now so it's off. All this track is hand built. The shed on the left is the new goods shed based on one on the southern region. And now the loco is off to the loco. Now reversing up to go to the uh, coal chute. That loco was built by Bob. It's scratch built. and it's running quite well.
why it stopped then. The section wasn't switched on, but never mind. And this is the terrier bringing the uh, rest of the wagons out from the head shunt and putting them in the goods yard. The shed on the left is a new one. One of our club members 15 years ago took away the skeleton of the shed that I'd built to go there to fit up the insides and he never brought it back so we've had to build another one and that is it. This is into uh, Bath Station and the push-pull, the southern region push-pull is about to depart. The coaches are Kirk kits, being slightly altered to put the windows in the back in the driving trailer. There it is, it's uh, going round, it'll soon be going out of the shed and over the roadway into Canham. There it goes. Now coming in is the club's only loco, which is an LMS 4F, with uh, five brick wagons loaded with bricks that have come in from the Somerset and Dorset there's the Victoria Brick and Tile Works, the first station down the old S&D-R line before you get to Midford. Now this is another Southern Loco and a brand new scratch-built Queen Mary. That's another one of Bob's. He made a good job of that. It's towing the club's uh, parcel train. Heading out underneath the road bridge. And now we've already got three bogey brick wagons had come in the day before and they're going to be all joined together to send off to um, Mangot's Field. So there's a little bit of shunting to do to get them in the right place. What the North Eastern brake van's doing on the end I do not know. They must have borrowed it. A little bit of fly shunt in there. Now the loco has gone to get the brake van to put on the other end, ready for it to go back. Another bit of crafty fly shunting. I don't think that's going to be very successful on a running day. Too jerky.
and there's all these bricks going to build God knows what. And that was a quick run round, another engine on the front. And the push pull comes back as the brick train wanders off. And push pull pulling up into platform two. Now coming back is the uh, parcels train with the Queen Mary on the back. And that's the terrier. It's going to clear the uh, loaded coke wagons from the uh, gas works. There's two sidings it's got to join together. That's looking down the gas works. And this is a shot looking through the uh, door we use to put the bridge up. It's not a normal place to view anything from. The stable block is on the left. This is the other side of that southern region goods shed with a wagon turntable and various bits and pieces. Now the uh, coke wagons are being shoved down the head shunt where there's a loco waiting that is going to take it all the way to Mangotsfield on a trip working. From there it will head north over the Pennines. The back scene is in the process of being put on the back. It's not quite in the right place yet. It's going to be a little bit lower so as the grass field is not quite so wide. It's double O a back scene but with a bit of judicious fitting in it looks exactly O gauge. Yes that's the wagon turntable. These are some fellas looking in the gas works. That's a new office block being built or office shed. And there's another fresh shed been planted uh, in Bath Goods Yard, right next to that place, which is uh, the Wood Yard. Why we had to replace the back scene or why we're doing it is because the original one had been computer uh, done, you know, blown up, and it faded and uh, disintegrated. So now it is going to be like that. And now we've got a train of boxes coming in and this is the coat going out it's going out behind a J39 I think what that was doing down here I do not know it's got his LMS brake van on the back now the back scene over there we've replaced that bit to get the road in and everything else so that's not done too bad. That's better than it was. This is the uh, Way Bridge Road and Rail.
under the screens. This is a view of the uh, track into the mine and the road leading out. Another mine in the distance over the uh, level crossing. The Sentinel Shunter getting uh, a wagon weighed. This is the uh, screens and the pit head gear, the lift, the winding uh, mechanism, and the cables coming down to the winding house. And a wagon of uh, scrap to be taken away. More scrap on the floor to be loaded up. Slag heap at the back. This is a view of the uh, completed uh, layout, a panoramic view. Now moving down towards the mine. So far so good. Now moving round the opposite way. That's the uh, sidings, storage sidings. At the back is the road to Scotland. Now the branch round to the docks. Now coming into the uh, dock area itself. Tram loco. A G5 on tourist stock in the uh, platform. The waterfront. around a boat to be emptied with the uh, crane and that's about it that's that room this is a view from the uh, terminus end of the uh, dock layout
and uh, this is the view from the other end. Now moving down to the bath end of the layout. This is the modifications to the brewery end. And uh, a K3 is arriving with a load of coal for the gas works from the north. The, uh, this is uh, the brewery with an entrance between the buildings. And the bridge that takes us over the roadway into Canham. That's a Linton and Barnstable narrow gauge body being put there. It's to uh, <laughs> have all the stuff to feed the horses from the stable block, which is there. This is the entrance to the new gas works. If you remember on the original plan there was a three-way point where the left-hand one didn't go anywhere at all. Now that is the one that is off to the gas works. Meanwhile the uh, K3 has shunted some coal up the head shunt and the rest are going round to the uh, gas works. That's a new good shed. This is looking round the back of the good shed with a wagon turntable at the side. This siding is worked on a capstan or rope from the uh, loco. This is the stub point. Only wagons come back along this kickback siding. And there's the gas works in the background. Looking from the other end. Club member Bob Holman has uh, done a damn good job of the uh, buildings and back scene. As you can see they use a fair amount of coal and take away a fair amount of coke. A new back scene has been added because the original one faded. And the new ones are bought ones. They don't quite match up but uh, they will do eventually. Some of these back scenes are a little bit on the modern side. But as it's a club layout, we have to cater for club members and uh, they run diesels and God knows what. This is a new building that's covering the uh, works of the turntable the cutout switch and the shorting mechanism and switch gear and what not. You have to put your hand in and uh, this building covers the hole when you look from the proper side which is uh, this is the other side. 
very difficult to film it because you have to do it backwards. The station has eventually got a roof, albeit it's had to be made in parts to remove it in case of accidents and butterfingered operators. This is a 2P from a David Andrews kit towing MTH LMS coaches. Four of them are all third opens. They were supposed to have been corridor stock, but uh, MTH didn't supply what uh, they said they were going to. Drawing out of the station, quite easy, especially now I've uh, disconnected all the light pickups in the coaches. It made them very difficult to pull. Bridge and away down the tunnel towards Cannon. This is a new uh, acquisition in uh, Cannon. The dairy is uh, low relief on the back with the pipe work and the uh, steam cleaning uh, gear for the tankers. Coming through on the main line is uh, the 2P heading towards Castle Gary. Passing the dairy. Also in Bath is another acquisition, a second hand G5, working on two bogies like mine does, and uh, four homemade excursion stock, LNER of course. Now these have just come in from the south coast, the loco has run round its train, and it will soon depart to Canham and then on to Castle Gary. Now leaving platform two. Having lost all the film by inadvertently scrubbing it off the disc, I've got to do some of it again. And this is uh, in the dock room. This is the bridge with the garage on the top. And in front is the build box on the extension to the mine. Carrying on round, we've got telegraph poles. Forest in a box trees. Hedges. Grass. Rocks. And a bridge. A road bridge. Which covers the hinge part. The bridge lifts out to lift up the flap which the pillbox is on, which I have to do to get into the corner under the house, right in the corner.
coming round down the hill to where the coal mine is. There's a pit head over there in the distance. And there's a delivery van going over the uh, ungated crossing, which belongs to the mine anyway. And there are some of the wagons parked, loaded, ready to come out. The big asbestos clad building is uh, the screens and the tram stands. It just brought a load of bricks in. That's the hopper that uh, takes the stones and bits that are not coal out from the screens, ready to be loaded up and taken away. This is the other end, another pit head in the distance, and there's the office, and there's a scrap heap, and trees, and God knows what. That's the view as you go out the coal mine up the road and over the bridge and away. This is an internal working between the docks and the coal mine. A couple of uh, hoppers are uh, on the way to the mine with the uh, tram loco. Later in the day a K3 arrives with an empty coal train into uh, the uh, docks. Stops to uncouple. And then runs forward into a spare siding. And now the uh, dockyards tram will shunt the wagons to the mine. Now coupled, it will draw forward and split the train into two rakes of nine. Two wagons after the low one. Job done, and uh, ready to take the first nine down to the uh, mine. This is a shot into the uh, entrance to the mine. Well, this is looking down off the road bridge. A 
and this is looking from the other side of the bridge as uh, the tram shunts them under the screen. Now the tram is off back to fetch the remaining nine wagons. Now uh, drawing the remainder forward where it will leave the brake van the brake van will be uh, taken back with the K3 back to uh, Castle Gary MPD The tram has cleared the points, now returning back. The tree we're looking through is a forest in a box tree. That's a view from the bridge looking up past the garage and there's a pillbox behind another forest in a box tree and then there's a bridge over the main line in the background. The empties are just drawing underneath the uh, screens. Now I'm hooked. It's off now to uh, pick up the two loaded hoppers. These two loaded hoppers will now go off to the uh, dock area to be joined up with a pickup freight to uh, Callum because they go to the dairy. Another view of the pillbox as the tram and the two wagons draw towards the entrance to the mine where it will have to wait for the uh, K3 to take the brake van back to Castle Gary MPD. Now the uh, K3 will 
buffer up to the brake and take it away to uh, Castle Gary. And away it goes. Now the tram can uh, clear onto the dock line and take the two hoppers down to the docks, ready to go back to Castle Gary to be made up into the uh, pickup freight. This is the view as it comes up the hill over the uh, Bridge, there's a London brick arctic going up the road, another pair of uh, trees, and then on still uphill to the uh, garage and over the main line. These are views of the far end of the mine. There's a bit of a scrapyard on the floor. And then uh, coming round, the sunlight shining through the window, which is not helping much. Scratch built uh, bogey brick. And coming round, that's the screens with the wagons underneath being loaded. And that is a hopper. That's a mine entrance. And there's the ungated uh, crossing for mine vehicles. And there's another pit head in the distance. The uh, Castrol van is now heading back up towards the main road. That's a shot of the screens. It's rather a big uh, building. And that's about it. This is the new way bridge, that's the road one, and behind is the rail one. All the track has now been ballasted. This is the end bit, the roadway's done. The ballast is all underneath the uh, screens. All it needs now is a few uh, workmen and various bits and pieces of clutter. Not too bad. Under the screens and under the hopper. Fortress Bricks has just brought in a couple of load of scrap to be dumped in the mine. A local farmer has called onto the way bridge to get the weight of his truckload.
bushes in bloom. This is the other end of it. The tram's getting some hoppers weighed the other side. This is Castle Gary and the LMS loco, the 2P, is coming into platform 2 with the uh, new LMS coaches. Now with a green light, the uh, train will, after a brief skid, it will uh, eventually go. Now heading off for Canham. Now coming into uh, Canham. This is a day in the life of a Jubilee Class 460, number 5690, Leander. It's in Castle Gary MPD after arriving yesterday evening from Bath with the uh, Pines Express. Today it'll take its train back to Bath Midland where it will be serviced while a 4F and a 2B will take it on to the south coast. Now drawing off the ash pit, heading for the turntable. Slowly coming onto the turntable. It only just fits. That's on. Turning round. This loco is normally shedded at Bristol. Now going to uh, fill up with water.
now topped up with water, ready to uh, draw down to Castle Gary Station. We've moved into uh, Castle Gary Station and we're looking at uh, Platform 1 where coming through is the uh, station pilot with the Pennine Express. Not long to wait, and now Leander has come up from the uh, motor power depot and now drawing past his train to back down onto it into uh, platform one. Now reversing down into platform one to pick up the coaches. All that. While we're watching the crew get ready to depart Coming into platform two is a terminating uh, local passenger from Scotland. Waiting for the uh, signal to come off. And then Leander will slowly pull off towards Bath. We've uh, now moved into the cannon shed and uh, this is a push-pull coming through from Tilbrook. It will draw up into uh, the up platform at Cannon. Now passing a uh, F7, Pilot Loco at uh, Canham, coming round by the signal box, Canham Station. Now pulling into uh, the up platform. Now coming from uh, Castle Gary is a slow pickup freight that will have to stop at the outer home because the push pull is in the platform and there it is stopped at the signal. The starter signal 
has now come off and the push pull will head off towards the south to the next station. The goods train has been called forward so that it can reverse into a lay-by siding so that the express can pass. The signal one has just uh, waved him to come back. All is safely in the siding. Now we're waiting for the uh, Jubilee. Slowing down for the uh, junction. and heading on through south to Bath. Now the signalman has uh, come out of his box and he's just waved to the Q5 to draw off slowly all the way to Bath. And while the, the Q5 was heading for Bath, coming in to platform 2 is a B1 on a local passenger. Pulling up to fill up with water. As the Q5 disappears down the hole. All gone. And as B1, number 1040, draws off towards Castle Gary. The F7 is doing a bit of shunting in the goods yard.
Now the uh, Sentinel rail car is leaving platform one and going to Tilbrook. We've uh, moved into Bath and uh, the 2P is under the uh, coaling chute and uh, it's being got ready to take the Pines Express to uh, the south coast coupled up to the uh, 4F. N now filled up with coal, drawing off the shed. Both locos are now going to draw around to the uh, signal the other side of the bridge where they will wait for the Pines Express to come in from the north. Both locos are now waiting at the uh, signal and also waiting for the Pines to come in from the north. And uh, while a shunter is moving some bogey bricks in the goods yard, the Jubilee is coming through on the passenger. Under the footbridge. Backing down onto the train. Under the gantry.
going past the motor power depot. And off. And the shanter is still moving these uh, brick wagons. The Jubilee has got the shunt signal to go to the MPD. Past the factory and under the bridge. Come in by the loco. Now heading off to the turntable. This loco is a little bit on the long side for this. Now coming off and now reversing into the shed. The next train coming into Bath is a K3 with a long goods train. Coal train.
now on its way back to fetch the rest of them. Now coming out with a complete train. Now pushing them down the head shunt to where the K3 is waiting. Now the uh, K3 is reversing the coke back ready to go out on the main line north the Castle Gary. You know, it's all set back, so relax on the button. Yeah, now heading uh, to the north. Signal will go back to danger. Will it? Yes. What engine is it, Bob? That's a, 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 a CX, a C2X. C2X going out on a freight and coming in is a B12 on excursion stock to come from the north got to go down to Bournemouth. Coming in to Bath, platform two. Bloody. This is a Brighton Mogul coming down to connect onto the back of the tourist stock. Now all we now, now the K class two six zero is drawing out with the uh, B12 is now off to the turntable and shed, passing the other one as it goes. Yeah, this is the return from. Uh, the south coast, double-headed, coming in to Bath. Jubilee just coming off the shed.
Now reversing back to the platforms. Now the shunt signals come on and the uh, 4F and 2P will go to the MPD. Leander's coming into uh, Callum Station. Where it will have to stop because it's running short of water. tender full it can go up towards Castle Gary Coming in the other direction is a B1 tender first coming in with a terminating train into platform 2. Now reversing into uh, the carriage siding. Uncouple and pull back to the signal box where it will wait further orders. And that's it. Now we've moved up into uh, Castle Gary and we're waiting for a and then seven on a local passenger to come in from the Scottish end.
slowly pulling in to platform two. While we watch a J-39 on a long freight heading south, Leander comes in to platform one. Slowly coming to a stand. And now the station pilot will uh, remove the coaches. Now, suitably coupled up starting to all off the coaches. And now the Jubilee pulls back. And now heading off towards the MPD. Now to go down the hole towards the MPD. We're looking over the road bridge as it comes in towards the coaling stage. Now slowly backing down to the ash pit and past that now she's uh, parked up for another night being spent at Castle Gary Motive Power Depot The crew are just tidying up in the cab and then they will have to bed down for the night in digs. And the ash pit was through that gap under the bridge. So much for a day in the life of Leander Jubilee Loco.